Alrighty guys, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, today we're just going to do a bit of a shorter video. I just wanted to cover off uh, the free Holy Relic that we're all getting, right? So hopefully you guys are all doing uh, what you should be doing and doing your check-ins as you go and collecting the Twilight Source materials as well as the little honor of... Oh, another another dodgy word, in Hajar. Uh, basically just collecting all the stuff so you can make your free dog's relic, right? Oh, I want to skip this. Um... Right, so you want to make sure you're getting this every single day, and then this, by the end of the two weeks, I believe it is, will allow you to craft a Skull and Hardy Holy Relic. So I wanted to quickly cover off like which one I recommend you guys get, um, and then you know if you've potential substitutes and and kind of almost like a ranking for them to let you like to see how good they are, and then but mainly to cover off which one you should get. So uh, I am, as you guys can see, I've only got one so far, and spoiler, it is the Thonar one, Shock Horror, um, and I'm at the point where I can get another one. I just need to get a few more of these little uh, honor gem pieces, um, and then I think I know which one I'm gonna get next. So um, I don't know how long this video is gonna be because it's honestly a pretty straightforward recommendation. Um, it's Thonar's, right? Like Thonar's literally designed for the Skull and Hardy Beast. Um, when I was originally looking at it, I was like, okay, Phil's ultimate gauge, yes, that's helpful. And I was like, ah, 40% increased to HP related stats. I was like, that's okay, right? Because like if you look at um if you look at like Yorms, it's like removes debuffs, increases skill ranks, and her passive already boosts all stats, right? So um increases where is it, where is it? Yeah, all stats by 30%, right? And then you look at um, Miguel does one in the bird, wherever she is, there she is, and it's like, removes one debuffs and increases all stats by 8%, right, so up to 40%, so when I was looking at this one, I was like, okay, like, Thonar's passive is only attack related stats, and then this is only HP related stats, so I was like, ah, oh, it doesn't sound quite as good as the other ones, um, so I was, I wasn't sure, um, honestly, it does make it easier um you know hp related stats is basically anything i mean where is it let's just do this anything in this right so uh let's do this it's generation rate recovery rate life steal and obviously hp All right so i mean generation rate is how much you recover like re i think it's how much you regen every turn right so let's have a look at the stats so if you come here You've got regeneration rate is the value of the portion of HP that you look, that you return, right? Um, a value of increased HP gain when you recover, and then obviously a value of, of which absorbs a portion of damage dealt as HP. So this actually makes your team really quite tanky, um, and a lot tankier than like I kind of expected. Um, obviously getting some defense and stuff as well would have been nice, and some attack related stats as well would be good, but... I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Just like all my other recommendations, the first one that you want to get is always the the Holy Relic for the hero that's designed for that, that demonic beast, right? It's just going to make your runs easier, especially with Skull and Hardy being farmable now. Uh, it's also going to allow you to, you know, get the other ones faster um, rather than buying another unit, uh, rather than getting another units. Um, now, I do want to say that I think, you know, having done the bird the deer and now i'm kind of getting used to skull and hardy consistently um skull and hardy is definitely still hard right like i feel like the first two holy relics kind of just make the boss not easy mode but a heck of a lot easier right so like for example on the bird you could clear floor one and then suddenly you could clear all three floors if you had the holy relic and then like the deer just makes it with a rank up really straightforward whereas this kind of for me makes it like doable like i still find i have to reset more on the dogs like my team isn't by any means like i'm not a super high cc on my team or anything like that but it definitely still makes it doable but still harder um so yeah basically in short i would recommend getting the thonar relic always first um because then it allows you to build thonar with different teams as well so originally in some of my other videos i know i mentioned that i might be getting kings first Sutra's Flaming Helix Spear. That sounds so sick. Because um, I was using the King Patience team. Um, as you can see, I'm no longer using that and I've changed it up a little bit. So, and I think like Thonar's Relic can even be used with a King Patience team, of course, right? Because it increases HP related stats and gives you ultimate charge. So, 
I think the King's definitely probably going to be the next one I get because I do want to try the King Patience team as, as we continue to go up. Um, I'm, I'm really keen to start getting some of these relics, to be honest. I've actually kind of just stopped getting these relics um, because there's not really, I don't know, as many here that I really care about that much. Like, I wouldn't mind getting Arthurs because they're really strong on birds, but they're not really... Like, for me, I don't have really have a built human team. And like these, I wouldn't mind getting Ludos. But again, my Ludos not built, so I'm not really fussed. Whereas my Scardi's built, um, my uh, Chandler's built, uh, and I would like to work towards an Anashi, and obviously my King's built. So, like, there's a few heroes here where I've actually got some built up. So, um, anyway, getting slightly sidetracked. Uh, definitely recommend getting Thonars first. Uh, and then from there, it's kind of, it's obviously kind of your preference, right? If you've already got Thona, then that's awesome. I'm going to get King just because uh, I'm pretty happy with my Demon team at the moment. And my Demon team doesn't actually use Blue Chandler. It uses Green. Um, I, I'm definitely going to get this because I do want to try it out. Um, but for now, it's going to be probably King's next. If, if not, maybe Chandler, to be honest. But I think I'm going to do King because I really want to try the Patience team on Skull and Hardy. And I think this is really going to help. Um, and it might just be a little bit more consistent. Um, so definitely throw enough first. And then if you're still, if you're doing like me and you want to, you know, you don't necessarily, you're not 100% happy with your clear team. Like my, like Freya, Green Liz, Donar and Trainer Melee, I'm, I'm happy with. But it's still like, it's not, I can't just clear every single time. Like, I can't just not have to worry about, you know, any passives or anything like I do with these two. It's kind of like I still need to be careful. So I think the, the Cheese King team is just going to be a little bit easier. I'm also going to do it when I try uh, Nidhogger as well. So <clears throat> I think that's going to be the next one for me. Uh, apart from that, yeah, you can always, obviously, I've got a tier list on these guys as well. Um, but, oh, sorry, guys, my throat this morning. What's going on? Um <clears throat> But otherwise, yeah, I definitely recommend going for Thonars, and then from there, like I said, King, if you're trying to do the Patience team, uh, or pretty much what other, other, every, <laughs> whatever other hero you want to invest in. Scardi's, I'm potentially definitely going to look at as well, because I know Scardi's good for the dogs. So I think I've just started to come to get to a point where I'm investing in Scardi properly, so I think I'll get hers as well. Um, and then I'm just going to try these on different dog teams. So basically get Thonars first, and then um, I would... I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to get the relics that could potentially assist in the dogs. So Scardi's Holy Relic, um, and then King's Holy Relic as well. Uh, Nanashi's, you know, Chandler's, Zeldris's, and then uh, all the Deans and Drolls. I do want, and I'm excited to get, but, like, these are going to help me more with the actual boss. So always make sure you prioritize the, the Holy Relics that are going to help you complete that Demonic Beast faster. Right, so same thing with here. So say you use, I mean, use Magelda, right? But let's say you use the one for the the bird. Make sure you get the one's relic, right? Or, you know, say you use Brunhild, definitely get Brunhild's relic. You know, I use <laughs> Gothas, so I got Goth Gothas Holy Relic. Like, you should be building this around the heroes that you use for that particular boss, right? This one is not so much for me, Um I use green. I got green sarials because you know I got red sarials because I was using red sarial for for a while there instead of uh, before I got Freya, right? So you want to basically get the hero's holy relics or prioritize the hero's holy relics that are going to help you complete the boss faster, so you can farm holy relics quicker, right? And pretty straightforward, makes sense. But and you know I might have to tell you what you want to do if you really wanted Kusaks, then you know you want the lightsabers, then get the lightsabers. But um, that's what I'd recommend just because it's going to allow you to get other relics quicker, right? Pretty straightforward. So hope that helps guys. I hope you are signing in every day to make sure you do get your free skull and hardy relic because it is very clutch. Um, it does, is going to make that boss a heck of a lot easier, which is going to be nice. Um, I will be doing a video of me attempting this guy soon. Um, I have a very big feeling it's not going to go fantastically because it, always when they first release the Holy, the uh, the new demonic beast, it's always very hard because they haven't released the heroes that are going to help it help with it yet. Um, so I'll give it a go because I do want some. Obviously, want these holy relics as well. Um, but I'm not in a super rush. I want to farm dogs first because there's a few here that I want. Um, and then you know here I'm not 
too fussed. I like these heroes and like Melascular and stuff. Like I'm not not crazy about, but I definitely will be giving it a go. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I hope this helps. Uh, and as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.